Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. And welcome to the Sonosite Behind the Scan webinar entitled Sonosite ST, Engineered to Enhance Procedural Efficiencies. My name is Chris Pennell, and I'll be moderating today's webinar. Uh, before we begin, please be advised all attendees are muted, and you may type your questions into the Q&A box in the toolbar located at the bottom or the side of your screen, and we'll get to those questions during the Q&A session at the end of the presentation and demonstration. This webinar will be recorded and archived for future reference on our webinars website at sonosite.com slash behind the scan webinar. So to get started, here with us today we have a couple of presenters. Uh, first up is Jody Miller. Jody is the Director of Anesthesia Market Development for Fuji Fujifilm Sonosite. Before joining Sonosite, Jody spent over 15 years as a clinical sonographer and has been with Sonosite for the past 22 years. Over those 22 years, Jody has been dedicated to helping support clinicians use point of care ultrasound to its fullest potential to help treat and care for patients. And assisting us with scanning today is Daniel Shelton. Daniel is the Director of Musculoskeletal Market Development for Fujifilm Sonosite. Daniel spent 18 years as a dedicated MSK sonographer, and 12 of those years have been here at Sonosite. He now leads Musculoskeletal Market Development, where he works to spread the word about the benefits of point-of-care ultrasound. And with that, I'll let Jody get started with our presentation. Hi, I'm Jody Miller, and welcome to the webinar on the Sonosite ST. We are coming to you live from the Sonosite Virtual Studio in Bothell, Washington. And today we're going to cover some of the features and benefits of the new Sonosite ST. And then we'll move on to some live scanning where we'll scan the interscaling nerves and the median nerve at the level of the carpal tunnel. So let's get started. The Sonosite ST is designed to enhance procedural efficiencies with an intuitive user interface and Sonosite image clarity in a 21-inch all-touchscreen display. The Sonosite ST helps clinicians achieve a high level of confidence and success when performing procedures. Using the feedback from our customers, we made sure the Sonosite ST has a streamlined design to assist clinicians deliver care close to the bedside. It also has a simplified workflow design for procedural efficiency and Sonosite image clarity to deliver clinician confidence. Now let's talk about the streamlined design first. You will notice a large 21 inch all touchscreen display. The monitor can tilt up to 60 degrees to aid in transportation and ease in the movement of the system. Next, there are dual transducer holders that support ease of preparation for sterile procedures, allowing for easy one person application of sterile transducer covers. The Sinosite ST also provides multiple basket options for different user scenarios. The power cord management system keeps the power cord off the ground, keeping it from getting dirty or damaged. One step height adjustment for a wide range of users is also available on the Sonosite ST. And lastly, the low profile wheelbase and small footprint enable clinicians to deliver care close to the bedside. In these videos, you can see some of the highlights of the streamlined design. First, you'll notice the large 21-inch touchscreen, which enables you to see the image clearly from across the bedside when performing procedures. The easy height adjustment you can see can be controlled from the side of the machine, which allows you to pull the machine close to the bedside while still allowing for height adjustment. Next, take a look at the storage basket options. You can see in this video the standard basket options, and there are multiple options available. In the second video, you can easily see how solo sterile procedures can be performed using the easy access transducer holders. Next, let's cover the Sonosite ST Workflow Simplified. The intuitive interface with streamlined workflow includes optimized exam types, with most often used annotations and calculations. Scan along capability with 150 onboard learning tutorials. Auto steep needle profiling assists with enhanced needle visualization, which helps result in more precise procedures and better patient outcomes. A small footprint that allows for easy transport between treatment rooms. And easy access to cleaning mode, which helps to reduce room turnover time. On the next slide, you can see a couple examples of videos demonstrating some of our workflow simplified features. 
The first one is the one touch cleaning mode where you can see how you can easily access cleaning mode, clean the system, and then with a simple swipe, go back to live scanning. Next, you can see the optimized exam types where you can quickly and easily choose the exam type or procedure you're wanting to perform. In the first video, you can see an example of auto steep needle profiling and see how easily that needle is visualized. In the second video, is a brief example of some of the scan along tutorial videos you can use on the Sonosite ST. You can see when the video starts, you can move the video around the touch screen so you can easily access different controls while also scanning to match the live video. So next, let's talk about the image clarity seen on the Sonosite ST. The advanced image clarity helps you experience confidence and precision with every procedure you perform. The large image area provides easier visualization to support accuracy of diagnosis and procedures. The Sonosite ST helps you identify anatomical targets with confidence, helping support high quality patient care. The image clarity delivers an illuminating view of your procedure, supporting accuracy and ultimately better patient outcomes. So on this slide, you can see on the left-hand side is an image taken with the Sonosite S2. On the right-hand side is an image taken with the Sonosite ST. As you can see in this image of the interscaling brachial plexus, the Sonosite ST doubles the image area from the Sonosite S2 and provides higher pixel resolution resulting in enhanced image clarity. Now let's look at another comparison between the Sonosite S2 and Sonosite ST with the ESP images seen above using a curvilinear transducer. Our advanced speckle reduction algorithm reduces both artifacts and noise. As you can see, the Sonosite ST image on the right has outstanding tissue plane differentiation, which allows you to easily distinguish between both pleura and fascia planes, essentially making safer and more effective blocks. Now let's get to the live demonstration of the all-new Sonosite ST. Daniel Shelton, Director of MSK Market Development, is going to assist me with the scanning. And first, we're going to scan the median nerve at the level of the carpal tunnel. Thank you, Jody, for that introduction. Uh, today, we're going to be scanning with the L19, 19 megahertz linear array transducer. And we're going to be scanning right here about the crease of the wrist. And I'll start in a short axis. And basically, we're going to scan with the system settings just being default straight out of the box. And as you can see, we're at the, the walk-up screen, um, allowing you to choose what to do next. So I'm just going to hit the scan button since we're already on the L19. And uh, right out of the box, the settings are zoomed out a little bit because this transducer can be a lot to kind of take in as far as resolution. If we're looking at something on the near field, like that median nerve at the top of the screen, I need to bring my depth up more shallow. So I'm just going to use this little uh, buttons on the side, and we're going to bring the depth up more shallow. And there we can see the median nerve quite nicely in the middle of the screen. So a normal median nerve, uh, one test you can do in carpal tunnel, which is more of a dynamic uh, study, is have the patient make a fist and squeeze. And as they curl their wrist, that median nerve should stay situated fairly superficially. So another way we can evaluate for carpal tunnel, which is really nice to do, is look at an abnormal one. I'm just going to put my wrist up there. Thank you, Jody. And uh, basically, when you pinch, you should not see the nerve dive down between those flexor tendon heads. So that can be a contributor of carpal tunnel syndrome. So just something to look for out there, dynamic squeeze test of the carpal tunnel. There's other ways to measure, like the measurement methods. Uh, but High resolution is very important, along with um, excellent frame rates to capture popping, clicking, anything like that. So we're looking really closely at the fascicular uh, detail. You can see all the little fascicles inside the median nerve. And you can see the epineurium is nice and bright, along with the surrounding tendon detail. And as you can see, all of this detail that we're getting in that median nerve is just straight out of the box. These aren't. Uh, my presets where I got ready for this demonstration. This is straight um, what you would expect to see once you unpack the system and fire it up. You might just have to change your depth so that the machine auto 
focuses on the near field structures instead of those deeper structures, but this is straight out of the box image quality. All right, so that'll conclude the median nerve demo. I'm going to pass it off to Jody, and we're going to scan inner scalene in the neck. Okay, thank you, Daniel. Thank you for that demonstration of imaging of the median nerve using the new Sonocyte ST and how um, excellent we can visualize that median nerve and all the vesicles within the nerve. And now let's take a look at uh, the brachial plexus at the level of the inner scaling groove. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to switch transducers. Daniel was using the L19-5 transducer and I'm now going to use the L15-4 transducer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come here, I'm going to select my transducer, and I'm going to choose the L15-4 on a nerve exam type, and I'm gonna press scan, and now I'm ready to start scanning. So what I'm going to do is put the transducer on the model's neck, and I will start scanning up, and as you can see, here in the center of the image, and I'll pull up an arrow so you can see. So he here, next to the arrow, you see the interscaling brachial plexus with both scalene muscles next to it. So here is one of the scalene muscles, and, and the second scalene muscle, and then up superior, is the sternocleidomastoid muscle. And back down to the brachial plexus here in between the scalene muscles. I can scan fur further up the model's neck or I can scan more inferior and back to the brachial plexus and I can Easily move that arrow around, or I can take that arrow away, whichever I prefer. Again, I have not touched one button on the system. I have not changed the gain or the depth, but certainly if I wanted to, I could come over here to gain. I could turn that gain way up. I can bring the gain way down. Or what I can do is I can press the auto gain key, and it takes me right back to the original gain settings, which in this case, work out perfectly. If I want to change the depth, I can come over here and change the depth by pushing up and down on the arrow keys and you can see how the depth changes. Or what I can choose to do is I can change the depth dragging the cursor to the desired depth. If I want to scan more medial, I can see the model's carotid artery and jugular vein. If I want to turn on color, I can certainly press the color key, turn that on, or press the color key and go back to 2D imaging. So with that, we will go to our live Q&A session. Um, I look forward to your questions. Please feel free to enter your questions into the chat feature. And uh, Chris will then call out what your questions are, and either Daniel or myself will be happy to answer those questions. All right, thank you guys for an excellent presentation on some of the cool features of the Sonosite ST. Uh, we'll go ahead and take some time for questions from the Q&A box now. Uh, it doesn't look like we currently have any in there, so we'll wait just a little bit for some questions to come in. All right, well, it doesn't look like we have any questions from anybody. Uh, so uh, thank you all for coming and joining us here today. Uh, for some more information on the Sonosite SD and to contact us with questions, uh, please go to sonosite.com. And to see our other upcoming live webinars and recordings of past webinars, please visit our webinars page from the Sonosite website at sonosite.com slash behind the scan webinar. Thank you all for uh, joining us again today, and we'll see you next time.